Oh my god, the Grim Reaper's here. Oh my god, Grim Reaper. Don't kill my animals. Oh no, he's killing cool Queef. Oh my god, Shanice is freezing to death. Oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> the Grim Reaper's back. Nippalicious, I'm so sorry, but you're dead. Oh my god, they're mating. Oh my god. But the uh, the mini sheep's in the middle. <laughs> Talk about a third wheel. Chlamydia Carrots has gone into labour. You're falling asleep. You're supposed to be in labour. Why are you asleep? <laughs> Feisty Flange, you are such an iconic, beautiful, lovely horse, but I get the impression you're a little bit lonely. So I think it would only be right if we give Feisty Flange a brand new friend. Shanice, I understand you're having a crazy conversation with yourself in the mirror, but we do have more important things to attend. For we are getting Feisty Flange a brand new friend. Oh my God, that rhymed. <laughs> so saying that we've only got 2,470 simoleons, so we can either purchase a horse for 1,000 rescue one for 250. I mean, looking at the different horses here, we've got Alder Horse, lots of a foul, foal, foul, whatever, an adult horse, and they've all got different traits. What if we go to rescue a horse? Due to the environment they came from, rescue horses will have more difficult traits. Some extra attention and care may be needed. I'll be brutal, like I can't be bothered to deal with a rescue horse. <laughs> if this was real life, I'm all for, do you know what I mean? Rescuing a dog from a pet charity with they've been taken from awful homes. I'm all for that in real life, but this is not real. This is The Sims and in The Sims, I cannot deal with a rescue horse. So we need a female, there we go. We've got a mare, adult horse, Nashville, energetic, friendly, and brave. Sounds like a perfect horse for Feisty Flange to breed with because I would like to breed a little pony. I'm sure Feisty Flange won't be happy about it, but it's what we've got to do. Oh, we can change the horse's name. The horse's name is Chlamydia Carrots. Oh my God, Chlamydia Carrots, where are you? I'm so excited excited to meet you. I don't know where, I think we're stuck inside the rabbit hole. There's a bit of a glitch. Chlamydia, where, where are you? Have we lost our horse already? <laughs> oh, here is Chlamydia. Oh my God, she's so excited. Oh my God, she ran back inside the equestrian center. Right, we're going home. I'm not dealing with the bugginess of this community lot. Let's get out of here. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Chlamydia Carrots, welcome to the farm, mate. Although your saddle is not a vibe. Is there a way we can change it? There we go, plan outfits. Just to confirm, she is energetic. She's friendly and she's brave. So I'm thinking we do the leopard print leg warmers. We give her a bouquet of flowers on her head and we do a purple rose on her buttocks. We won't give her a saddle. We won't give her bridles. Now, it's actually really, really great that Chantel is not dead anymore because it means that she can look after the cow. It means we can sort all the animals out and not get overwhelmed. I mean, the chickens are starving, so like we got to sort all of this out. But it's okay because we've got two people to do it for us this time. Although like my animals are constantly whinging that they're starving. Like I'm pretty sure I'm feeding them every couple of hours. Why are they whinging? And I don't know what these chickens are doing outside in the cold. Mr. Bellent, you're starving, you're unhappy. What are you doing? Motorboat delicious as well, starving and happy. Why are they outside in the cold? Like, I'm trying so hard. Oh, so, oh my god, I forgot to get a bed for our new horse. Even though Feisty Flange, to be fair, for some reason, he does not like to be in his pen. So technically, Chlamydia Carrots could take his bed, but I don't want to take any chances. So we will get a brand new bed. Well, this is so exciting. Fanny Fart has been unhappy for a while due to inadequate care. I've literally just fed you, what do you want? Fanny Fart, what do you want from me? <laughs> These animals don't know how good they've got their life. They don't know. They're so ungrateful. I mean, to be fair, the cow's looking a bit dirty. Should we uh, clean you up? Give you a feed. And uh, oh my God, the Grim Reaper's here. Oh my God, Grim Reaper. Don't kill my animals. Who have you come to kill? Why are you here, Grim Reaper? You're just standing there fucking tea posing, not doing anything. Why are you here? Chantal's gone to clean the cow. Is he waiting for us to clean the cow before he kills it? <laughs> That's a bit like weird. Very polite of you, Grim Reaper, but uh, a little bit weird. Where are you going? What are you doing? Are you, if you come to kill a chicken, who are you killing? Not corned queef, not corn queef, our hen. Oh no, he's killing corn queef. Corn queef, I'm so sorry. The hen's just like waiting to die. Oh, he's getting petted at least. I hope the Grim Reaper will look after her. I'm so sorry. That was awful, literally devastating. <sighs> Oh my God. And now he's just pissing off like he's done nothing. That was so savage. I mean, all of our chickens are about to die. What I think we need to do is incubate some eggs so that, you know, we can keep our chicken farm going. Although I guess, no, because the chickens are elders now. Oh my God, Shanice is freezing to death. Nope, you are not. Nope, stop it right now, Shanice. Get in your outdoor wear. You are, if you freeze to death, I will be so angry at you. 
<laughs> I will honestly be fuming. Don't you even think about it. So like in order to get on with our life, we really need to start earning money. And for some godforsaken reason, all of our plants are died. I feel like there was a glitch where maybe time skipped ahead because everybody's starving, everybody's dying, and I don't know why, and all of our plants are dead. Everything's going wrong. Not sure quite what happened, but something happened. Now, crusty, not crusty carrots, chlamydia carrots. I forgot your name. I'm so sorry. How do I make you mates with the other horse? I feel like we've got to raise our friendship up with you in order for you to feel comfortable. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to interact with you. We're going to talk. The cow's getting involved. Testicles 1.0 is getting involved. We're all getting involved. And I absolutely love it. We're one big dysfunctional happy family. I mean, what are your skills, chlamydia? Do you even have any? No, we're just at level one for everything. Although we're already friends. Maybe we need to raise a temperament in order to convince them to mate. I'm not too sure, but we're going to have to wait and see. Should we give it a go now and see if they'll mate? No harm in trying. I mean, there could be harm in trying, but there's only one way to find out. Encourage to breed with feisty flange before Chantal clears out all the dirty food that was in her inventory. So what are you thinking, chlamydia carrots? Are you going to go mate? What are you doing? You're trotting off somewhere. You've gone to trot off too. Feisty flange. Oh my god, they're mating. Oh my god. I want to do a screenshot of my horses mating, but the uh, the mini sheep's in the middle. <laughs> Talk about a third wheel. Look at his eyes. He's like literally giving the side eye to these horses. <laughs> that is honestly so funny. He's like, what am I standing in the middle of? <laughs> I think he's regretting his life choices. So that's rather lovely. I believe they've mated. So, Chlamydia Carrots, will you soon be having a child? I hope so. Chlamydia's having a chat with Shanta. Oh my god, pause, pause, pause. Did you see what she just did with that arm there. <laughs> the way she hugged the horse. That was a bit creepy. Shantai, what are you doing? Oh my god, is she stamping on the ash? I think she's literally stamping on her ash, like when she burnt to death. That's a bit weird. Also, hate to pull you away, Feisty Flange, but we've got our aspiration and that is to be a champion rider. I do love riding horses. Let's do some show jumping. We haven't done that yet. I think that would be the best one to do. I would like a gold medal in all of them. So as we wait for the pretend rabbit hole. Oh, there we go. It's done. What did we get? Silver place prize. Is that it? I wanted first. That's not fair. I think what we need to do is mount our feisty flange and go on an intense ride because we need to raise up our horse riding skill so that we can do all of this and actually get good scores and everything. Currently, we're horse riding level four, just coming on to horse riding level five now. Oh, and our horse got to endurance six. Oh, and our horse took a poo, but we'll leave that there. So something a little extra to do just before we get back to the ranch, just to raise up some skills for both of us. Every little helps. So we have, oh my God, the sink's blocked. What, Shanice, what did you do when I was gone? I was gone for a couple of hours and you've already broken the bloody sink. She's just playing on a phone in the greenhouse. God knows how long she's been in there for. Chlamydia has come to harass us. It's all getting a little bit much, I think. Now she's sh shoveling snow. Why is she doing that? Like it's achieving nothing. She's just shoveling it and throwing it on the ground next to her as if that's going to do anything. <laughs> right, Shanice, let's eat some leftovers while I've been cooking. Both Shanice and Chandel have actually been gaining a lot of weight. Even though they have a very active lifestyle, Sims in The Sims will always just gradually like get fat over time. It's such a like, it's one of those weird annoying oversights in the game that they haven't bothered to fix and it's really immersion breaking. But anyway, there we go. Oh my god, Chlamydia is expecting. There are going to be some new little hooves prancing around the house at some time too. Oh my god, yes! We are getting a baby fowl, foal, fool, whatever. I'm so excited. Oh, corn beef is getting years on. So yeah, our chicken's also going to be dying just as, oh, and nippalicious. Oh, and bellend. Oh, and armpit pubes. Oh, and motorboatalicious. Just as one new life comes in, four other lives die. <laughs> I guess that's the circle of life. Um, oh no, today is prank day. Oh, for Christ's sake. I hate these seasons holidays. They do my head in. I wonder if they added any new holiday events with the horse ranch pack about horses. I doubt it because they never ever update these. No, they don't. The one thing that they should add cross plaque play with they don't and it's very annoying so we can't make a horsey holiday also like we've got some nectar i'm gonna sell it because we really need a kitchen in our house so we can actually eat we've got all this fine well i say all this fine aged nectar we've got two bottles of nectar so we've made a few simonies got 7300 in order to get rid of these prank date notifications okay i'm just gonna like prank chantal and then chantal can prank Shanice. that way they won't say oh i've had a miserable holiday because we've actually tried and we've actually done something chantal your botched boob job looks 
awful in your current outfit. I mean, it's her boob job that got us in this mess because she wasted all of our money on it. But apparently there's an interaction to shove snow in her face. Oh, there we go. Brings back her past trauma from snow days in school and people used to throw snowballs in my face. <laughs> so there we go. We've both completed prank days. So hopefully they will both shut the hell up about it. Okay, we also found like so many random things by harvesting this prairie grass. It's literally insane. It seems like this is an inf... She's like infinitely doing it. What's Oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> what's happening? Oh my god. The Grim Reaper's back. I was just about to say, she's like infinitely harvesting stuff from the prairie grass. But um, it looks like Grim Reaper's come to take away Nippalicious. Nippalicious, I'm so sorry, but you're dead. Anyway, your life aside, for some reason, I don't know if it's a glitch or on purpose, but Chantal Chantal is infinitely harvesting prairie grass here. And she's also finding a ton of stuff in there. So we're going to make so much money selling all this crap. All this nectar we're finding as well is finally a. Right, I feel like this is cheating, so we need to stop. That was intense. Now, for those of you who are saying, Satch, why don't you just multi-select all these things and sell them? There's actually a glitch where you earn less money if you multi-sell things, if you multi-select and sell them, which is why I'm doing it separately. It's such a weird glitchy oversight. It's very annoying, but we do what we've got to do. Although I will put the fruit in Shanice's inventory for making nectar. That'd be a better idea. Also, seeing when we've got a couple more trophies, I'm gonna pop them up on here. Although actually, what I'm thinking is any kind of silver show jumping trophies we get, I am just gonna sell them because I don't wanna show off a silver. It's either gold or nothing. Oh look, the horses are getting horny again. Lovely. And um, oh, for Christ's sake, the Grim Reaper's back. Who's dying now? Bellend the chicken. Well, it looks like our Bellend is now dead. These chickens are honestly insidious. Our goats are dirty and they're dying. There is a lot to do in a singular farm day. I mean, it's already past midnight. The ranch hand is glitchy and broken and doesn't work. So there's not much we can do about it. So looks like the next rooster is dead. Who is it this time? Armpit pubes. So now your time to die. It looks like all of our bloody chickens and roosters are dying. At least our lot will be a lot less laggy. <laughs> That's always a bonus if they die. And look, even Shanice is very happy because apparently she's happy. Oh my god, Chantal, what are you doing in my bed? Get out of my bed now. Chantal, how bloody dare you? Get out of my bed. Yours is a bottom bunk because you're inferior to Shanice. I mean, to be honest, guys, like the chickens, they're not that useful. So maybe it's a good thing they're dying. <laughs> That's a little bit morbid, but it's true. Oh, look, the horse is playing in the snow. Oh, that's sweet. Chlamydia Carrots, you're such a sweetheart. I love you so much. Oh my God. Chlamydia Carrots has gone into labor. Chlamydia, where are you? Oh my God. You're falling asleep. You're supposed to be in labor. Why are you asleep? <laughs> Chlamydia Carrots, you're in labor. Why are you sleeping? <laughs> Quick, Chantal, we've got to go. She's walking over with her cereal because she's starving. She's not eating it. Chantal, just eat your cereal, please. You're oh, for Christ. She's starving to death. We've got to soothe this horse in labor. It's not working. All right, come on, let's get to it, please. We've got to soothe the horse, whatever that means. Fanny Fart has been unhappy, oh for Christ's sake. Right, we've got to get back to the bloody cow. Cow's dying, everything's going wrong. Chlamydia is currently in labour, I don't care because our cow is about to die. Oh no, it's been born now, we missed it, I'm sorry. <laughs> A fowl is born, oh my god, what are we calling it? Right, her name is Candylicious Clarence. Candylicious Clarence, oh my god, you're so cute. Oh, I actually really wanted Candylicious Clarence to have feisty flanges coat, so that's bit of a shame. Oh wow. And of course as soon as our child is born we get reminded of our lot taxes and bills. So nothing has changed there. We still got real life to deal with. Also a bit of a tangent to the fact that you know we just had a baby but I think it's time that we now get a kitchen because we really need a kitchen. So I'm just moving our living room into this tiny room here and I'm gonna pop the kitchen into this main room. I actually love the base swatches of the kitchen counter set that came with horse ranch so I'm gonna use it all over. Did the pack come with an oven? It didn't, but that's fine. We use the cottage living oven, seeing that they're basically the same pack. We will use the cottage living fridge. Hopefully we can afford some nice upper cabinets. This is actually quite a cheap kitchen set. Usually they're very expensive in The Sims 4, but this one's not so bad. So we can make it, you know, relatively aesthetically pleasing. Actually, I'm gonna pop the kitchen counters over here, just so we can have a nice cabinet here, put our fridge here. Actually, I'm gonna go for a very expensive sink, so it's less likely to break. More expensive items are annoying, but they are definitely the way forward in The Sims 4. Yes, we will be getting a smoke alarm up 
in here because we know what Chantelle is like. This is all coming together so beautifully. I really love it. Although with Horse Ranch, the base game got an update so that we could place ceilings. Ceilings are very expensive, <laughs> but I actually really want to do it. So with the ceiling, oh, this space is coming together quite nicely. Isn't this sweet? We're getting there slowly. Maybe we could finally get a dining table too. So it's all coming together nicely. And can we, we've only got about 3,000 simoleons, but I'm just thinking if we could do the layout for the upstairs, it would be very useful. We've actually got a lot more space than I originally thought to work with, which is always a bonus. And it seems that finally we've got a bedroom at last, even though still we're sharing a bunk bed together. We can afford a nice little closet in our room. We can afford a little mirror. So we're making positive steps. We've got 1,300 simoleons left. So I'm going to leave it there. So now we won't have to starve all the time because we can actually cook real meals for once. Although we better to get Shanice inside because she's literally freezing to death. No wonder why she's out in a dressing gown in the bloody winter. Shanice, get back in the home, please. If you die, I'm going to be fuming with you. Shanice is also feeling flirty for some reason. Not sure why, because she's neurotic, I guess. Oh my God, I didn't realize. Okay, if you have the off-the-grid lot trait, you need to add ice to the freezer because our food was spoiling very quickly and I didn't realize why. Well, now we know. That's something else extra we've got to deal with. Now, top tip, make a family size serving of fruit salad and your Sims will basically just live off it indefinitely. It's very useful. Though Shanice is having a conversation with the chopping board, a very erratic one. Shanice, can you just stop it and cook your food? So, oh my God, what's happening? Motorboat delicious time has come. Where's the Oh, there's a Grimipa, right? Another chicken is down. <laughs> Another chicken is dead. Not that Chantal and Shanice actually care. Says a lot about their character. Now, Chantal, for some reason, is glitching and she literally won't eat. So I'm going to go off into Manage Worlds and come back and see if that changes it. That's never happened to me before. The Sims 4 is a very buggy glitchy game. Oh, I'm sorry. You saw a little bit too much of my body there. That was unintentional. I still haven't woken up yet. Like it's two o'clock in the afternoon. Not going to lie. Like that was just my morning stretch. I got up at nine, which is good for me, but my body's saying no. Anyway, thank God. Chantal is eating now, is she? And if it's not too late, I'd like to quickly do another horse competition. Don't know what what time it actually shuts in here so I'm just gonna run straight in. I want to try the show jumping one again to see if we can actually get gold place this time. I said it again I meant first place not gold place. Gold award first place. Look how beautiful. I know we're in the middle of summer IRL but look how beautiful this is in winter. I'm so excited for winter. Although global warming's killed off the charts. Hate to be a little bit political but like we're probably never gonna get snow ever again are we? <laughs> but I can dream. There we go. Yes we finally got our gold medal. Perfect. Well done feisty flange. You are such a good horsey. Before we go home, I think we should also do a little bit of training, even though it is getting quite late. Although I wouldn't say this looks very intense. It's a very basic animation that the horse is doing. It feels very, very stiff. I'm not quite keen on it. Seeming that this is an expansion pack, I will be honest with you. So I think it's time to trot along home now. We've had enough. And Chlamydia Carrots, I haven't forgotten about you. Let's have a little interaction with you so that you don't think that we hate you. And of course, what's our other horse called? Candylicious Clarence, love you too. Candylicious was just born and is feeling days. What are all these colour sounds and four wobbly noodles? With time she will find her footing. Isn't that sweet? Also, now we've actually got about 2,000 simoleons. We've already got a wind turbine on this roof. I'm thinking, okay, that we get another solar roof panel to go into our horse ranch because we've already got two. If I add another one and another one, maybe we can gather more energy for our ranch because ideally we need to be in an energy surplus so we can earn money from the energy. We've got a surplus in power but not water which is an issue. We already have two do collectors. Maybe if we sell this fire pit because we've literally never used it in the game let's be honest we can afford another dew collector. That way potentially we could harness more water. Oh Winterfest starts tomorrow. Tomorrow's Christmas day. Oh my god the toilet is broken. Just as I was getting excited for Christmas something has to ruin it. We have 24 hours of power bills before our water is shut off. Now our water has been shut off. Chantal I was glitching again and she won't eat her food so we gotta go into manage worlds. It's a never-ending mess on our ranch. So we've eaten, we're repairing the toilet just so we can take a shit. Chantal's fun need is chronically low. She hasn't had any fun for days, bless her. We can't watch a movie because the TV doesn't work because power doesn't work off the grid. Guys, I feel like I've got this off the grid thing wrong. I thought okay that if you put wind turbines in an off the grid lot that you could use TVs but apparently we're wrong. So I am gonna take us off 
off off the grid not because i don't want the challenge but because it doesn't work as intended i wanted it so we had to produce our own power and we couldn't buy it as bills but it's not working like that and for some reason we're still paying a lot of bills so i'm actually just going to take this off hopefully all of our issues will be resolved but we can still utilize the wind turbines and the dew collectors oh no our power's actually been shut off because we haven't paid our bills i forgot about that and we can't afford to pay them <laughs> shanice get to nectar making please we've been neglecting it for a long time but we've got bills to pay although we do still have the simple living lot traits so that is something that we've got to deal with i'm not making it too easy for us but where's our little pony candy delicious clarence i have forgotten about you i'm so sorry it's uncomfortable and upset with low energy oh my god do you know what i forgot <laughs> i forgot to give our little pony a bed oh my god i'm so sorry let me sort that out okay i'm gonna pop the horse feeders outside because there's no room inside anymore for them oh my god i'm so sorry right i'm moving everything out of there into the main house to make the main house look a little bit prettier too we don't really spend any time in our ranch anymore so it's not like we're missing anything i'll just leave a couple of decorations in there okay we've got somewhere for the little pony to sleep candylicious you're welcome also i know it's 5 p.m i keep like wasting the morning because we've got so many tasks to do in the day i get so caught up in doing everything that i forget about the horse training because there's literally just so much to get on with and this bloody ranch hand won't turn up somebody please make a mod to make ranch hands actually work i'd love that or maybe we could just hire like other sims to do other jobs like we could hire a maid to clean or a butler or something so that'll lighten our load in some ways so i guess we better raise our maybe agility because that's quite low so let's get to it another mindless animation of a horse going around again and again and again and again and again and again because this pack has no depth yes i said it i did give my first horse ranch stuff a three out of ten for gameplay my brutally honest review and i do stand by that i'm making it fun by integrating other things into the pack like seasons and cottage living and eco lifestyle so i feel like i'm having a lot of fun with this let's play genuinely a lot of fun but if i only had horse ranch itself with no other packs i wouldn't find it as fun i'll be honest although oh, the horse is having a little play on that thing i know that's really lovely but we need you to practice please so that we can win some more competitions oh horse riding skill level six lovely so let's do a little bit more training there we go agility level five it's 10 p.m i think this is closed it's open 7 a.m to 7 p.m that is good to know although for now we just do a little bit of late night training very late i just feel like do you know what i mean like this is not gameplay it doesn't feel like gameplay do you know what i mean it just feels very unnecessarily grindy i'm not sure if i appreciate it the horse is apparently very fatigued so we should probably stop before it gets inhumane oh god the horse is glitching around now <laughs> time to go home i think oh we're leaving the horse there well goodbye feisty flange nice knowing you so for some reason it's 3 a.m and our sims have like high energy don't know how that happens so we may as well get on with the next to making i'll give chantelle a go at mounting our horsey chlamydia carrots maybe we could go for some riding to raise up a horse riding skill what a productive evening or early morning i should say the, oh my god today's winter fest oh my god guys i completely forgot about winter fest oopsie oh my god, quickly let's uh rummage for decorations we need to make our house nice and christmasy christmas day even though it's middle of summer real life i don't care less i am so excited about christmas genuinely love it right shanice stop having a conversation conversation with the wall please get on with rummaging for decorations thank you we're rummage for some more because we want a lot for our big ranch oh my god we can put a snowman outside another snowman outside oh my god they're twins and then we've got another snowman this is the um this is the this is the boyfriend that in a polyamorous relationship so um we're just allow them to you know if you know you know <laughs> also love this little reindeer thing we can pop this outside of our house too love that got a nutcracker we pop one here in the kitchen we put our big nutcracker outside of the greenhouse we we'll pop another one in the stable we we'll put whatever this is this party hat thing on the table this other nutcracker can you fit in the living room we'll just move things around there you go you can go on the floor lovely and then we need to put up proper decorations so there we go we got some things on the fences oh look we got lights on the house as well and um, oh my god i forgot about christmas tree so we've got to put that in the house although i did ideally i'd like to pop it in the living room so i'll just do a bit of reshuffling there we go go isn't that lovely Shanice pop a let's turn the Christmas lights on can we pop a present oh no we can't put a present under the tree why not I want to fill it with gifts 
Or do you need a gift pile? There we go. We can barely afford a pile of presents. Let's add a present for Chantal Chantal. Chantal add a present for Shanice. Although luckily, because Chantal is evil, she doesn't actually celebrate a lot of these things. So it means we can complete the holiday easier. Right, Chantal, what are you doing? You're making a snowman. I've just asked you to add presents, please. So get on with what I told you to do. Shanice is sleeping because she stayed up all night. Oops. But we need to go to the shop to get some food to cook a grand meal. Isn't this exciting? Exciting. So there we go. Time to get cooking. Chantal has died honestly so many times in the kitchen. I do not trust her. So Shanice can make a ham dinner. Also, time to give our little chicken, well, our, our one chicken that's left, <laughs> we can make it a, a Christmas lunch. Same for the little cow, Fanny Fart. We've also got to feed the horses. I keep forgetting to fill this up. Oh, Shanice has made the dinner. Oh my God, Shanice, you're eating alone. You didn't wait for Chantal. <laughs> that is a bit savage of you. Oh my God, I can't believe you just did that. Poor Chantal. Shanice is so uncomfortable because she's been awake for like 36 hours. We better have a Christmas nap. All right, Chantal's having a conversation with the plant. I literally did not ask you to do that. I asked you to put a present under the tree. Come on. Although we do have a need and a want to actually open presents. So let's get to it. Let's uh, open a present. What are you going to get, Chantal, Chantal? What are you going to get? She got a garden friend. I think that means she got a gnome, but it'll be in the main inventory in built mode. Shanice as well. Let's open a present. She got a McSchmapple Micro, whatever that is. Is. Right, our sims are about to die. I think we need to take a Christmas nap in our beds, like a proper sleep. Our sleeping routine is very messed up. Just enough so we can survive for the rest of the day. So let's open another present. There we go. Shanice got Spice of Life Spice Rack. Oh, we just bought one of those. Chantal, what are you going to get? Another garden friend. These are very unlucky presents. Oh my God, Father Winter is here. Hello, sir. You are so beautiful. Should we give him a howdy introduction? Shanice, get out of bed, please. You're supposed to give him a howdy introduction. Oh, she's glitching and lagging and she's uncomfortably cold so hopefully she won't freeze to death in her own house that'll be rather tragic should we give him a winterfest gift should we give him should we give him a fruit nectar father winter have a bit of fruit nectar and um definitely not using the social bunny i'm gonna up my friendship with him i'm actually we'll be a bit flirty with him why not get a bit suggestive with mr clement frost i mean what we could do okay is be a bit flirty actually firstly we'll ask him for a present because we want a present and we will have our first ever kiss so there we go Shanice and Clement having their first kiss oh that is so cute love that for you and because they're having a steam exchange can we make them woohoo in the cow shed oh no the animals in the shed all right Fanny Fart wake up please I need to use your shed so I can woohoo with Dr Clement Frost what do I mean doctor is he is not a doctor anyway woohoo let's go or should we, oh should we try for a baby <laughs> that'll be fun let's try for a baby with Father Christmas that's right British people call him Father Christmas not Santa Claus so uh let's go although oh no we action can Cancelled. It's because the bloody cow went back in there. Right, cow, get out, please. Oh my god, Mr. Clement Frost has gone home. Oh my god. Sir, come back. Let's invite him back. Oh no, he's currently sleeping. Oh well, we tried. So we will flirt with him in the next episode. Today has been very eventful. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the playlist so you don't miss any future episodes. I will see you in the next one.